University of South Florida students may want to think twice about going over the speed limit. USF police officials say they are taking strict action to ensure that people slow down. Hungry students here at the University of South Florida Tampa may want to think twice before eating on campus. Prices at all food locations are going up. Are you looking to avoid traffic and enjoy a new way to explore your favorite destinations in Tampa and St. Petersburg? Well, look no further. One of the most exciting and affordable transportation options is back. School leaders here at the University of South Florida are doing their best to make students feel comfortable. Although they are taking every precaution, will this be enough? Similar laws have been passed in other states, including Georgia. The goal is to change speeders' bad habits and keep students safe. In Tampa, Juliana Young, reporting for Florida Focus. One way I stayed sane during lockdown was picking up a new hobby. One can either work out, read, or even start journaling. Staying busy and finding new things to do is an excellent way to occupy your time. School leaders are thinking about putting up cameras to catch people who are speeding. So the next time you find yourself rushing to get to class, you might want to rethink your speed and slow down. In Tampa, Juliana Young, reporting for Florida Focus. According to state officials, COVID numbers appear to be going down. Vaccine booster shots are now being recommended. In Tampa, Juliana Young, reporting for Florida Focus. According to USF officials, they hope to secure state grant money to pay for the Bull Runner. If this happens, then food and drink prices will lower. In Tampa, Juliana Young, reporting for Florida Focus. The cost is $10 to get treated to some amazing views of the bay in both cities. Ferry officials say there is no service on Monday and Tuesday, but this year there will be later runs in the evening. In Tampa, Juliana Young, reporting for Florida Focus. University of South Florida students may want to think twice about going over the speed limit. USF police officials say they are taking strict action to ensure that people slow down. According to USF police, speeding on campus is a real problem this semester. USF police officials say the dangerous problem is happening on USF Alumni Drive during the week. USF police say some drivers are going as fast as 20 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. USF student Blake Perry says rushing to get to class has made him part of the issue. Honestly, I'm, I'm part of the problem. You know, it's not, it's not very pog to speed, it's kind of cringe, but I gotta get my morning coffee and I'm usually late to class, so I'm definitely, definitely part of the issue. USF police officials say so far this semester they have issued 50 speeding tickets. Last semester, they issued half that amount. USF police say drivers are also running red lights and not stopping to let people cross the road. Some students, like Samantha Ho, did not realize how bad the speeding problem was until she stood back and watched. I didn't really notice it until just now, watching cars go by, and they do go by pretty fast. I'm definitely part of the problem, um, and I'm guilty of speeding on it before. And I think it just is something that other people see cars going fast and think they can go quick too. USF police say the plan is to increase police presence along USF Alumni Drive as well as issue speeding tickets without a warning first. USF police officials are asking people on foot and bikers to use crosswalks and to be very cautious when crossing Alumni Drive. School leaders are thinking about putting up cameras to catch people who are speeding. So the next time you find yourself rushing to get to class, you might want to rethink your speed and slow down. In Tampa, Juliana Young reporting for Florida Focus. Florida lawmakers say they want to stop drivers from speeding in school zones much like this one. According to lawmakers, a bill has been filed ahead of next year's legislative session that would put speed enforcement cameras near campuses. House Bill 189 and its companion bill in the Senate would allow cities and counties in Florida to install speed detection camera systems in school zones. CrossGuard Ann Osborne says she doesn't think drivers will change their ways, even with the new cameras. I think they're good, but I don't think drivers listen to them or watch them. They don't obey them, put it that way. Similar to red light cameras, they would capture a driver's tag number as well as their speed and slap them with a $158 fine. If the bill becomes law, speeders could be mailed a ticket for going over the school's own speed limit. Some people, like Javon Arreo, think having these cameras will ultimately keep students safe. I really think these cameras in our school zones will really keep our kids safe when I am picking my cousin up to and from school. In the Sunshine State, drivers already face large fines if they are caught speeding in school zones. Flashing lights and posted speed limit signs exist now, but still some drivers choose to ignore them and go way too fast. Similar laws have been passed in other states, including Georgia. The goal is to change speeders' bad habits and keep students safe. In Tampa, Juliana Young, reporting for Florida Focus.